man is driving at 100 kilometers per hour into a tree. Look like he's got himself in trouble. He's one meter away from the tree. If you want to save him, what's the maximum time the airbags should take to inflate? Well, we want to find the time it takes for him to crash into the tree. But to do that, we need acceleration. Why? Well, you should know that acceleration is velocity over time. So, when you rearrange the equation, get time is velocity over acceleration. Now, velocity is fine because we know that he's initially at 100 kph and slows down to zero once he hits the tree. But what about acceleration? That's why we need to find acceleration. That gives us A is equal to VF squared minus VI squared divided by 2D. Since VI squared, well technically it's VF squared that goes to zero. Why? Well, because he uh, doesn't move after hitting the tree. Probably because he's dead. That gives us minus VI squared over 2D. What we can use to find the acceleration. We know that he, uh, his velocity initial is 100 kilometers per hour, which can be translated to 27.8 meters per second. So, if we take squared of that, then we get 171.6. It's shown on the calculator. Then, you divide that by 2 times the distance it will travel. And we know that the distance it will travel is one meter before he will crash. So two times one gives you se minus 771.6 over two. So it's in 85.8. Followed by meters per second squared is the acceleration. But that's not all. Now we need to use this in the time equation, which gives us Vf is zero. So minus V naught minus 27.8 divided by this, which is minus 385.8. And that gives us 0.72 seconds. This is how much time the airbags should take to inflate. Why should we take the maximum time? Well, there have been reports of dying due to airbags. That's because airbags usually have a lot of force when they open in such a small time. We don't want that. So we will need to take the maximum time for it to open. And so we will need to use about 0.07 seconds in order to save the man without killing him. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.